This is Deb Helfrich, hashtag Redheaded She Hulk, and this is a Chappelle Challenge. It happened to be 206, interestingly enough, when I decided to run this video, and I am in a frigid Pittsburgh. I have never in my life been so hot and cold simultaneously. It is like May. So, earlier today I sent out an email pitch to Next Pittsburgh, and I coined a phrase that I think is very relevant to Dave Chappelle. I am the Anthony Bourdain of well-being. I'm controversial. I'm complex. I got a lot to say. If he cut his career going around eating, I'm trying to solve chronic disease. I'm trying to show that there are different ways to think about being human. I am certain that the philosophical hypothesis of bioelectricity, as astoundingly new as that phrase might be, is the key to human health. Very simple. There are three main forces in the world, mechanical, chemical, and electrical. And we have this vast terrain of biochemical interventions. We're also now getting with all of the kinesthesiology tape and the myofascial biomechanical. We're seeing that our posture and how we use our body, bioelectrical. Well, that's how our brain and our heart, which we know are electrical organs, integrate with both the structural, skeletal, postural elements and the internal biochemical elements of our body. With body, mind, and soul, y'all, it's all three. It's a triad. When I get famous, I'm going to be using the word trinity. But how much controversy can one slam into a hopefully brief video? Anthony Bourdain left a job vacancy, Dave Chappelle, and I'm the one who needs to fill it. Now, I put myself in an extraordinarily challenging and risky position because I am certain that I have an extraordinary way of describing being human. All of that embodiment, whatever I choose to do, there's something there to be analyzed because my subconscious has come out to play. The foremost experts in the world about consciousness and our subconscious call it a hard problem. Well, it's not. It truly isn't. And you got to get rid of some sacred cows in order to truly understand humans well. And that, I think, is the challenging part that makes me feel like I'm the Dave Chappelle of human health. So anyway. Talking to myself, going, how do I get the collaborators and the patrons see how broadly applicable my work is, which means there's just nothing but money. Just nothing but money. As soon as it's no longer me sitting in my car. I'm the little redheaded girl who's grown up to be able to give Sigmund Freud vagina envy. That's one of my trademark bits. But I'm also as a theoretician and a degree philosopher, the little redhead girl who can help young better contextualize collective unconscious. It's the collective supra conscious. I can explain how we are all interconnected. And as the founder of hashtag wellbeing philosophy, the, the, the scholarly, really 
applicable work. Redheaded She-Hulk, she got some raging to do, right? That's the stand up bit. But as the far as how the money is going to come is creating really applicable ways to stay healthy using basic principles. You know, BPS, breathing, posture, and sleep. Those three things can evolutionize anyone's life doing them correctly. Everyone's all into the mindfulness meditation and the breath and that whole thing. Do you know how damaging it is to mouth breathe? You, everyone. Because it is. And... We are damaging ourselves. We are damaging all of the life around us. We are about to self-extinct. You know, when I bring up mouth breathing, I think about my own situation is really because I only ever would nose breathe. I'm a, I'm a human who was beyond peer pressure. And just listen to my body, the truth of my body. I have self-trust that if I'm experiencing pain, I stop doing that. And I experience pain earning a living because I had to violate my integrity. And in this world of social media, everyone keeps telling me to be Gary fucking V. Well, screw that shit. I'm Dave fucking Chappelle. Who do I find who knows the value in that difference? Who do I find that understands that one of them is speaking from their own self-truth and the other is speaking to keep creating an audience. Look, okay, all right, I said it. Can you hear? It's hailing. I'm going to get you. I'm going to fucking catch one. Dave, how you live in this? I mean, the tiki torch whites and then all this, 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 this humidity and this like crazy ass weather. There's the hail. Is, is, is the video able? How on earth can it be so hot and cold at the same time? Oh. Oh. This has been Deb Halfridge. Dave Chappelle, I'm looking to get your support. You said at the Kennedy Center, you would block and tackle for anyone trying to stand on a stage, speak their truth. And I've been working at this for a year. And I can't even get to our one degree of separation. I know someone who you had to have went to high school with. Whether you knew each other or not, you both such successful black men that he has to be able to just be able to get you on the phone. Lamar Rucker is my college pal. That's why I'm back in Pittsburgh. Went to Carnegie Mellon. And anti-racism. The reason I came back is the black humans that I went to school with saved my life 30 years ago. And I'm trying to be the Trojan horse of whiteness. Alongside all this human health stuff, right? Human health ain't gonna get better if we don't understand skin correct. That's the truth, Ruth. We got to get skin correct. And melanin is a superpower. And that's how anti-racism ties into all of my human health work. Melanin is a superpower. And I want to be the person who disrupts and demolishes whiteness. Which to me is both, you know, white supremacy, we need to like make that crime. Just, just lock people up for white supremacy. But then there's also the delusion of white superiority. That's this whole civilizational palaver as the Brits would say, who essentially are to blame. I mean, you know, we can't let the Spanish and the Portuguese and the French and the Dutch, you know, Germans off the hook. 
but we a colony, yo, of England. And not only is it simultaneously as hot and as cold as I've ever experienced, I just simultaneously got buzzed from the from the frying of the Chick Fil A. I get that good smell, and then some motherfucker walked by with a cigarette. Chappelle challenge. I go right up into working with Dave Chappelle and having it out with him about that damn smoking. Smoking produces carbon monoxide, Dave. It's the carbon monoxide that kills. Yeah, there we go. That's me being Anthony Bourdain, being controversial as a motherfucker. Harmony, yo.